Suppose we want to know what is the remainder when a polynomial is divided by a binomial x minus c. The remainder theorem offers a quick answer to that question. It says that when f of x is divided by x minus c, the remainder is f of c. So if my f of x is 4x to the fourth minus 15x squared minus 4, and I want the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 2, I simply have to compute the value of function at 2 because my c in this case is uh, 2. c is equal to here. So what is f of 2? Well, that's we can compute quickly. Substituting x with the 2, we'll have 4 times 2 to the 4th minus 15 2 squared minus 4, which is 4 times 16 minus 15 times 4 minus 4, and that's going to be 64 minus 60 minus 4, which is 0. So the remainder is equal 0. Now, the question is, why would I want to know what the remainder is without doing complete division? Uh, well, knowing the remainder offers a quick answer to the question whether x minus c is a factor of a given polynomial. If the remainder is 0, then we know that x minus c is a factor. If the remainder is not 0, then x minus c cannot be a factor of that polynomial.